The year is 1972. The place is Osaka in Japan. A young, up-and-coming electronics engineer called Ikataro Kakahashi creates an electronics company. He has £180,000 to spend and he builds a factory. He calls it Roland and its first products are rhythm machines called the TR33, the 55, 66 and 77. Within five years, the first microcomposers were created, the MC8. This now meant digital signals could be sequenced together. Twelve months later in 1978, the world's first microprocessor-based rhythm machines were created. The CR78, as used by Blondie and Phil Collins. This machine was the framework of the future. In 1980, Roland released the Dr. Rhythm DR55 machine. It had four drum sounds, and it was used for the whole of the album created by Depeche Mode called Speak and Spell. Also, during the same year, Roland released the TR808. The TR-808 was a programmable rhythm machine with analog outputs. It was designed to be used in studios for musicians to create demo tracks with. The machine never took off as intended. Many pop musicians hated the synthetic marching style that was synonymous with the 808 machine. When compared with Roger Lynn's LM1 Lynn drum, it was always seen as a poor man's alternative. Iconic pop stars such as Prince, Human League, Michael Jackson, Kraftwerk, Heaven 17 and many others were all using the unique sounding LM1 machine. TR-808 had one big hidden advantage though, it was $4,000 cheaper. This became very apparent in the ghettos of New York and LA. The TR-808 had a unique way that the kick drum circuits had been designed. What this meant was that a deeper kick drum could be created and this could be exploited in the mix. Manuel Parrish and Raul Rodriguez, infamous glam chasers who frequented the Studio 54 Club in New York, produced a track together. It was called Hip Hop Bebop. It was unique in that it hardly had any vocals. It was made in a tiny studio they shared with Arthur Baker and John Roby. It was the same studio which created the infamous Planet Rock track. Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing also used an 808, which in turn influenced two new R&B producers. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. They brought us a range of new soul artists, including the SOS band, Shirelle and Alexander O'Neill. It was during the year 1983, Roland introduced the TR-606 and the TB-303 rhythm and bass synthesizer. These were an even simpler set of production tools, purely for the bedroom composer but many argued that they sounded too artificial and they soon found their way to the second hand shop, selling for as little as $50. Roland stopped production of the TR-808 in 1983. In 1984, 
Roland launched the TR-707 sample bass drum machine. Each sound was a 12-bit sample. It also brought out the TR-909, which combined sample-based digital sounds and analog synthetic circuits. The TR-909 was the first MIDI-equipped drum machine. Curtis L. Khalil worked in Downtown Records in Manhattan. He became friends with a guy from Haiti, and together they made a demo track. They called themselves Mantronics and MCT. He used no samples, just pure electronic machines and his turntables. His electro-funk sound was inspiring, and he went on to produce artists like Just Ice, Tila Rock, No Sierra, and Joyce Sims. In Chicago, three producers, DJ Pierre, DJ Spanky, and Herb J, got together with a TR-707 TB-303, and they made a track. They also brought in the services of the underground DJ Ron Hardy of the Music Box Club. They called themselves Future. The track they made was the beginning of the Acid House style. Meanwhile, in Detroit, three other guys came together. Derek May, Juan Atkins and Kevin Saunderson. They began experimenting with a TR-606, a 303 and a 909. They were solely responsible for developing a harder edge techno sound. They called themselves Inner City, and Kevin Saunderson made a track in his bedroom using a 909. It was used as a filler track on Virgin Records' compilation album called Techno. This one track was responsible for a phenomenal sales response. Virgin executives sat up, and they sent someone on a plane to meet up with Saunderson in Detroit. Virgin wanted another track from him, so he created Good Life, which became a world smash. House music was here to stay. Let me take you to a place I know you wanna go. It's a good life. Hey, 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 yeah. So many new styles of music have been created. Hundreds of producers, DJs, performers, bands, all their livelihood to one brilliant Japanese man. Who, along with Dave Smith at Sequential Circuits, not only brought us MIDI, but also brought us amazing music technology. So we began with the CR78, then came the iconic 808, then there was the 909, the 606, the 303, the 707, the 727, the 505. 